troop. But that was that was a great, great technique. I remember what she came in there so so good at the end of that match, and it was very spectacular. And that's exactly what we want and what we expect. Yeah, right. We want to see spectacular technique. We want to see kicks, jumping kicks, or uh, to the to the opponent. So that's that's very nice. Okay, so now we move along to our second bronze medal match. This time it's between Karei Sandan from Turkey. He'll be in red. He was the under 21 world champion in Indonesia in 2015. His opponent here is Noah Pish Pizno from Switzerland. And he only lost 1-0 uh, in the final to Salvari Ju of Macedonia. Sorry, of uh, Malaysia. Again, a three minute match. The referee for this match is Koji Komatsu of Japan. Interesting. The, the first engages here both both of the players staying in the center of the area uh, van de, but uh, the referee has to give this signal now which is passivity true because this part of the match uh, we did not have any action you can see the two competitors watching themselves trying to find a proper good distance of course the first scoring technique is so strategic now and gives so much importance and give an advantage so now the people the, the competitor are very very careful with this uh, scoring technique no, See, the match is just going on. trying to do the Janazuki. But we have here Pesino holding on with both hands, and, and as did Sandan. And he's now going to pick up uh, a second warning here. He's now on Kikoku. Two minutes, 12 seconds left of the match. No score. Sandan for Turkey in red. Pesino for Switzerland in blue. It, wow, it looked fantastic. He got two flags. The two flags. It looked, it looked as though it passed a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, but I think it reached the target first and then it passed just after. Ah, yes, so, so the Hikate was maybe a little late. Exactly, yeah. Hikate being the recoil after the technique. So, Sandan with three points up. Not again, but good job Anzuki from out this time from Pisino. Moved out of the way. Ducked to the side of Sandan's attack and came straight back in with the Jodan Zuki. Claws back one of the points. He's now trailing three points to one. One minute, 38 seconds left of the match still to go. Sandan is on a Kekoku, category two warnings. Pesino has one Chikoku warning. Grabbing penalty for our Swiss. Yep. Uh, so now we have both players on Kekoku. <laughs> Jordan Mawashi again there from Sandan. Really, really good. He retreated back to the area. He drew on that punch, that attack from Pesino. Stepped back with a front leg, high level kick. Great control. Six points to one he leads now. Coming into the last minute of the match. This is the second of our bronze medal matches. The referee stops the match here. Casino has stepped back out of the area. He's now on a Hansoka Chui. He cannot afford to take another Category 2 warning. He will then lose the match altogether. And he still has 40 seconds to go. Ooh, oh, spectacular Jordan Uramawashi from Sandan. But this time he wasn't able to score. And you see quite a bit of the... the players ducking out of the way uh, using Tai Sabaki, don't we? The uh, yes. um, evasion technique. Oramawashi again from Sandan. Incredibly supple, isn't he? 
spectacular technique, but the Turkish competitors are very strong with the kick techniques. It's very, very good. From uh, Alagas, that has been very famous. We know he was so good with the yeah. kick techniques. And he stops the match at 30 seconds left to go because he has a 9 1 score recorded on the board. Once there's an 8, pen, eight point differential, the match has to stop, doesn't it? Well, I was really impressed with uh, with the kicking techniques of the Turkish fighter there. Per, what are you just see on the active replay here. And where he steps back here, pulls in the punch, there goes the John Abawashi. Sandan proving too much for the Swiss.